Did the fight go as you expected it to go? No, I didn't. I um, we trained for a different fight, um, but uh, you know that's boxing. They, everybody comes in with different strategies. We're just kind of anticipating that they were going to do what they said that they were going to do. So, but uh, I mean, all in all, it, it turned out well for us, of course, but. Uh, it was hopefully it was going to be a little bit more exciting than that. What do you mean? You thought Manny would come out more aggressively? Of, of course. I mean, he only threw he threw less than 500 punches in the fight. So when a guy throws less than 500 punches, obviously he's not engaging. He's not he's not being aggressive. He's not you know making the fight happen. So it became more of a chess match than it was uh, what we thought. I mean, we built ourselves to be more physically stronger, obviously, and faster and and and, and more explosive. But uh, it's hard when you know the other one's just as evasive as you are. So. You've been in Manny's camp for a really long time. He said his shoulder wasn't doing well. Knowing him and how he fights, um, what do you think? Do you think that injury did change his style? You think it he could have been more aggressive? I don't think any. Th I don't. Th you know. I. You know. The, the, he said he didn't. You know, his hand was hurt for two weeks and his legs and all that. And I and I and I get it. I saw them rubbing his legs in the in the fight and stuff like that. So, um, I don't think he's lying. I just. Um, Every every fighter has to fight with injuries and have to overcome certain things like that physical physical ailments that happen in camp. You know, <clears throat> I don't think any fighter goes in there a hundred percent. You know, we had a lot of rough sparring, we had a lot of injuries as well, um, but uh, we used a lot of new scientific methods in recovery, and um, and I think that helped us. And uh, you, you you can't blame Manny for his injuries. You can only blame his team for not not being smart enough or or having the the knowledge to to address those those issues so you know I don't, I don't see that there should be any excuses in this you should just take your loss and just say hey he was a better guy tonight my team obviously didn't prepare me the way they should have is Manny the same guy you worked with do you think he's the same guy that I worked with five years ago clearly he's not but that's not to say that he's he's not capable of being that Manny what I saw tonight is I just saw Manny to me that was in there fighting by himself, and when I say that, <clears throat> I didn't think, I didn't see any direction. I didn't see them trying to to set up any tr strategic um, things to to turn the to turn the the fight into Manny's way. Manny was doing the same thing every round, every round, every round. So I think that the old Manny is still there. He just needs a more um, a better team and uh, that can uh, bring that out in him. I, don't, I think those people are just not competent enough to do that. Mayweather mentioned you today in his press conference. He said this one of his best decisions was to get you in. Um, what has that been for you working with Floyd after Manny? Was there ever kind of, I guess, a conflict of interest also in your part? I mean, having been with Manny for a long time, how was that transition? For me, you have to remember, it wasn't going from Manny to Mayweather. You know, I've had Mikey Garcia, I have Maidana, I've had the Lord Man, I've, I've had a lot of fighters in the last year. But you were with Manny when they wanted this fight originally to happen, and now it's I happening did. in your I other did. side. I did, I did, and I think that, I think if, uh, you know, you know, you look at that Manny back then and you look at the Manny now, if we could have got half of what we were then, it would have been a lot better than it was tonight. I mean, he, he got shut out. You don't think it was a close fight? I mean, I'm not a judge. I just I watch it from the corner like everybody else, and I'm watching. To be honest with you, I'm watching my guy. I'm looking at obviously um, how he's moving, how the things that we worked on. I'm looking for the improvements that I was supposed to make. Mm -hmm. So did you I, see that? I did. I saw him move well. I saw him be sharp. I saw him be quick. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot. <clears throat> I saw him be aggressive with power, and I think that's what made Manny hesitant. That that's a Manny I don't think I've ever seen before. Again, when your game plan, like they said, was to throw 100 punches around, volume and aggressiveness, and stay on top of them. I trained Marcos Maidana for the first Mayweather fight. So I know what you have to get, do to a fighter to get him ready for that kind of approach. Mm -hmm. Marcos Maidana threw 957 punches in that fight, and we didn't win. How can you throw 400 and, expect you won and think you won it's imp against Floyd Mayweather? It's impossible. The numbers don't lie. Never mind the attitudes and egos and, and this and that. And personal conflicts but you have to look at the numbers and your numbers aren't going to lie when you have an athlete that's not exceeding 800 punches against a, a defensive fighter like Mayweather and the, the best in the business mm -hmm. how do you how do you think you're going to win what's the biggest difference between their counts or between the fighters the biggest difference I think I, you know it's funny you said that I think it's the, the approach to their craft I think Mayweather takes it seriously. He was criticized, obviously, for bringing me there, for trying new things and doing different things. Um, again, 
you, you, you have to take everything that Freddie says with because he, he's, he's talked so much nonsense and ridiculousness. It's, it's almost an embarrassing thing for that, so for, for his camp. I feel sorry for Manny that he speaks for him. But Mayweather had the state of mind and the dedication to his craft to do something. He's not okay with just being the best. He wants to constantly evolve and progress and be better. And s bringing in, you know, si science. I don't, you don't see it. We can't see it. You can't expect to do the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result. Can you? Okay. So, you think you, so you work harder in, Manny, in Mayweather's camp? I don't say, I think I worked harder with Manny in the beginning when Manny was winning. Okay. We didn't have leg problems. We didn't have anything. And he was doing what I was asking him to do, training and eating and, and doing all the new things. But when, when Freddie Roach got involved and started, uh, I think, and I, and, I, and I also think, off, obviously, you know, Freddie Roach is a puppet of, of Bob Arum, the same way that Michael Kahn's is, and, and, and Manny's not a confrontational person, so, you know, he, he's not the boss. Okay. That's the difference. He's okay. not the boss. And Mayweather's definitely the boss. And May, Mayweather's definitely the boss. So when the boss likes what I like, what I'm doing, and he's, and he's happy with what I'm doing, that, that's all that matters to me. Even with conflicts with you and his father? Of course. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't expect his father to like me after what you know, happened with Hatton or, you know, especially what, what went on throughout those years. I, you know, this, but this is a business. And so my job is to, is to make Floyd happy. However, if that was on that side of the camp, you know, you got Bob Arum, you have, you have, uh, was Michael Kahn's. Was it harder to do your job in Manny's camp? Much harder. Okay. Oh, extreme. Uh, very, uh, I mean, it was almost impossible because you have so many people that are threatened by the unknown and the ignorant, that's the problem. They, they, <coughs> They, they fear the unknown or they fear the things that they don't want to understand or they don't want to learn. When a, when a trainer says, why try new things, that just shows what his mental cap capacity is. Because everybody should be trying new things. Everybody should try to evolve. Everybody should try to progress. That's what science is. Mm -hmm. It's an evolution of things and new things. And it's like anything else. New things come out every day about the exercise and nutritional science. So if you're not applying those techniques and the new methods, cutting edge, whatever it is, whether it's the nutrition or exercise part, you can't expect your fighter to evolve. Mm. I mean, seriously, did anybody really think that Freddie is physically capable of training Manny Pacquiao at the elite level to train a, 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 to fight a Floyd Mayweather Jr.? How could anybody be so naive or ignorant? Seriously, we have young, able, moving bodies that are trying to emulate <coughs> you know, Manny Pacquiao, how can you be so blinded by your own ego that you think that you can get this guy ready for and use yourself as a conditioning compass for your fighter, for a fighter like Manny? It's, it's just, it's, it's amazing. This is what the problem with boxing is. Because if this was a mainstream sport, like baseball or football, and there was an organization and a union, and you had real agents that had real credentials and real credibility and real history in, in the sport, there's no way on God's green earth that any real manager or advisor would let Freddie Roach train their athlete. It's not. It's just impossible. Why would you do that? You have an athlete that's on the brink of the biggest fight to become the biggest star in history, and you let this guy who's broken down in pieces train? It's just ridiculous. And that's why I feel bad for Manny, because he has such an incompetent staff and incompetent but it's none of my business. It's just an opinion and an observation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lastly, it was obviously a pro Pacquiao crowd tonight. I mean, you've been in Manny's side. You know how Filipinos, Filipino fans are. Um, so how does that feel being on the other side? And do you ever miss that crowd? Of course, I'm, uh, do I miss the crowd? No, because I still feel that, you know, it's just they're, they're picking their people and, or their person, and that's who they should, they should pick. Um, but no, I like I liked being on it, this side as well. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's um, because it, 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 you know, brings out a competitive nature. It resonates that competitiveness all over again and the motivation to make sure you, you do everything right and you go by the numbers. Don't let yourself get emotionally or personally involved in whatever banter is going back and forth. And just focus on, on my guy and make sure that he's ready to do what he has to do. Okay.